आ चुके हैं Let's just pretend you never gouged your eyes out while seeing that. Okay? Good. Makeshift explosion for the win. Let's let's live. You people want to know why they call Barack Obama King Cagnagger? Because they are eager to point out the fact that Barack Obama is married to a transgender woman named Michelle Obama. I mean, not that it makes a difference, but who cares? And this is just pure speculation on my part. So if you don't like it, don't even think about watching this channel of mine again. So just don't even fuck off to PewDiePie's channel. And while you're at it, go suck Taylor Swift's tit or shit yourself in the bed. <laughs> I mean, what did you expect, huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Eh, don't mind your friend and my scully over there. He's still recovering from brain damage. Also, who the hell is that girl? No, wait, that's just that's just a female photographer. Never mind. Just don't even mind that. Don't don't pay it no mind. Don't pay it any. Oh my god! Would you please fucking get on it already? Jesus. Yeah, I can do that. Alright! We're gonna look at some drawings from Twitter for gossip! Yeah! Alright, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my god, what? This is just. Oh, man. The, the, look at that, though. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how long her fingers are. Look how many fingers she's got. Look at the eyes. It's, it's like a <laughs> dirt face. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, and this is this is just. Oh Lord, man. I don't. I don't even. I can't even begin to describe this. This is just so much cringe. Of just. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, this just, oh, uh, this beats everything I have ever seen, and just, what? <laughs> oh, who's this, this guy looks like an, like, freaking Ron from the Ashtar Galactic Command. What the hell? <laughs> I just did. Uh, oh man, this, <laughs> this guy looks like a freaking alien from another world. Oh man, how the hell do you screw this? Yeah, <laughs> I just don't know, man. This is too much. Oh Jesus, man. Oh, what? What did just do? God, my. what is that? I mean, I mean, this actually looks pretty good, but damn, I mean, I mean, just, oh, I don't even, I don't understand this. I mean, <laughs> she, her, her neck reminds me of that of, George Corpse Grinder Fisher from Cannibal Corpse. I mean, I mean, you know, I just don't, ah, man, I just don't understand this at all, but this is hilarious. Holy crap, man, I don't, yeah, it's just, I mean, oh, <laughs> oh God, look at this, this <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, it just, just, oh man, and and he got the cherry bomb down pat too. Look at that, and 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 I mean, ah, oh, I mean the facial hair isn't all that visible, but still, I mean this is this is pretty damn hilarious if you ask me. This is pretty damn funny. <laughs> uh, 
damn, this is this is just crazy, man. Twitter Picasso's a genius, everybody. Let me tell you, you gotta check his work out. It's definitely worth several laughs or three. I mean, just 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 seriously though. I mean, you can. <laughs> What the hell is this? <gasps> I don't understand. This head looks like a penis. Oh, penis. I mean, this is just crazy. Look at that. Oh, Lord. It just doesn't. Oh, oh, God. This is. Oh, I have not even made it. It's got the Rolex, white suit, black tie, black shirt, and then we have this. What the hell, man? I mean, this is just, I mean, his, his, his whole face and head literally reminds me of a pear. But at the same time, it also reminds me of the character design of the villain from fucking Fleabag Monkey Face. I mean, this is hilarious, man. Good God. I mean, he makes the people who made Fleabag Monkey Face look like chumps in comparison. Jesus, man. Jesus H. Christ, if you're up there somewhere, please save me, Lord. I need saving. Oh, golly, man. I need saving. Seriously, though, I don't even play around when I say that. It's time for everybody's least favorite but most talk about segment! <laughs> this is Lane Murdoch, the teen behind the National School Walkout. Why should I care if it's a CNN headline? I mean, seriously? You kidding me? Freaking pathetic. You could come up with better stories out of your ass than that, CNN. So, no, thank you. I'm not buying it. Ah, ah. Spoiler alert! Who did not survive the Scandal series finale? I'll give you a hint. None of them survived. All of them did not survive. Why? Well, it's pretty simple, because it got canceled. That's why. 50 worst video games of all time. I'll give you a hint, it has something to do with WWE's 2K series, as well as anything made by David Copperview, forced to reveal secrets behind the Lucky 13 Vanishing Act in court. Well, it doesn't surprise me, now does it? I mean, should it surprise anyone? Think about it. Stocks are set to open lower as earnings season rolls on. Uh, really CNBC? You lost your credibility with me a long damn time ago, so I wouldn't go about saying that without conclusive proof. And I'm pretty sure you have plenty of it, but it's all falsified. It's fake. No job, no money. Life in Vietnam for immigrants deported by the United States. Why should I care about that? Seriously, why should I care? Barbara Bush wore fake pearls and $29 shoes to her husband George H.W.'s inauguration. Well, that's probably the most honest thing I've heard all day. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. But still, nobody cares. NFL schedule release. Players were excited to see return. Uh, why should I care about that? Oh, wait, because NFL's pro-abortion now? They're pro-Democrat now? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Because of all the freaky kneeling during anthems movements that were going on throughout the company. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, let's take a shit on the illegal immigrants using rocks and stones. This is according to Fox News. According to what was posted on November the 20th, 2017. Illegal immigrants reportedly assaulted two U.S. Patrol agents with rocks killing one and seriously injuring another Sunday near the southern border with Mexico. Oh, no. Yeah, this is still going on now. Yeah, it was going on back then and it's still going on now. So, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Forty patrol agents appear to be ambushed by illegal immigrants. This is the same day. 
same day same day i can't i can't lie to you people i can't lie <laughs> Although few details about the incident have been released, Brandon Judd, the president of the NBPC, told Fox News on Monday it appeared Martinez and the second agent were ambushed by a group of illegal immigrants. Yeah, not surprising, right? And, and get this, get this, right. Okay, so here's Wikipedia now. Here's Wikipedia. So, the fiscal year 2017 ended at the end of September in 2017. Migrant deaths along the Mexico-U.S. border occur hundreds of times a year because of the attempting to cross into the United States from Mexico illegally. The U.S. Border Patrol reported 294 migrant deaths in the fiscal year 2017 which was lower than in 2016 with 322. Okay, something is totally horribly right here. And I don't know if you know this or not, I don't know if you people out there know this or not, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you but something really, really smells of democracy here. And it's not in this particular Wikipedia page. No, this Wikipedia page is legit. Many people sack Wikipedia for being an incredible source due to people being able to freely edit the information at any point at any time of day and year, but what Wikipedia puts out is legit. <laughs> Photos. Border busts in 2008. Border Patrol agents arrested a U.S. citizen after finding two illegal aliens locked in the trunk of a rented Chevrolet Impala at the immigration checkpoint on Interstate 19 on March 29, 2018, Thursday afternoon. An agent working the primary inspection lane directed a 31-year-old Chandler man for a secondary expansion. Uh, yeah, I can't say I'm surprised. We all knew it was coming. Damn right. We knew it. We saw it. So we realize it and we believe it because seeing is believing. All right. So more than two decades later, meaning way back in 97 or 96 or whatever, the tragic killing of an American teenager last named Hernandez has emerged in the national conversation once again this week. Amid news, the President Trump wants to send 2,000 to 4,000 National Guard troops to the southern border as part of his administration's efforts to crack down on illegal immigration and God knows what else. Now, people... I don't know if you realize this or not, but President Trump, President Trump is doing the right thing right now. You realize that? He's doing the right thing, and he has every reason to do the right thing, and he's making good on it. He's making the wall. He's working on the wall. Without the Democrats' help, mind you, and some of the Republican Party. So he's basically just doing this pretty much, for the most part, on his freaking own. So good for him. And here's here's what gets this. Here's what get this. Oh Lord. Undocumented illegal immigration and the militarization of the US Mexico border of books and photographs by John Moore is to be published on Tuesday by Powerhouse Books. A version of this article appears in print on March 26, 2018 on page A6 of the New York Times. And you know what I think of the New York Times? They failed a long damn time ago. They should have went out of business. If you ask me, I would have pulled the plug on the New York Times a long time ago had I had the power, but I obviously don't, so there you go. And now for a brand new segment on Talking to Myself News, where if you're offended by anything that I'm about to say in the next three minutes, you end up getting absolutely nothing, you loser. Damn right. And you can thank Gene Wilder for that.
and God rest his soul, because I know he's in heaven right now. Or is he? Top 14, sing for America's vote. Oh boy, here we go again with this American Idol horse shit that should have never came back to the light. Okay, top 14 contestants on Idol finally had to sing for America's vote on Sunday night. Caleb Lee Hutchinson sang Midnight Train to You Know Where by Chris Stapleton on the banjo, of course. Then Michelle Zuzette sang Friends. Marcy O'Donnelson's It's a Miracle cover, originally by Barry Manilow. Mara Justine's cover of Kiala Settle's This Is Me. A cover of Philip Phillips' Raging Fire by Garrett Jacobs. Ada Vox's cover of Queen's The Show Must Go On. Yeah, um... I don't know what to say about that, except this is freaking rigged. <laughs> this is just bullshit, man. This is just bullshit. Mm. Gabby Barrett closed out the performances by singing Miley Cyrus's The Climb. Absolutely. And yet, Richie... I mean, Lionel Richie, you know, he says that, given based on how she sang that, he said specifically that a star was essentially born. I wouldn't say that a star was born, but I would say that another star was torn. In this case, as of tonight, four, to be exact. So... Why the hell should I be surprised? I don't even watch the show anymore because it's such bullshit. And why should I- Facebook is going to hell. Embracing artificial intelligence tools. No, I mean, not that it means anything, but it totally doesn't mean shit at this point. Okay, so according to Jim Johnson at the McClatchy Washington Bureau in Washington, social media companies have embraced AI tools to scrub their platforms of hate speech, terrorist propaganda, and other content deemed noxious. Case in point, Mark Zuckerberg, or as I'd like to refer to him as, Fuckerberg. Can a program judge the value of speech? Um, yes it can. Incorrectly, mind you. It is one of several moves by Facebook as it struggles with an erosion of customer trust over its harvesting of user data, its past vulnerability to targeted political misinformation, and the opaqueness of the formulas upon which its news feeds are built. Some technologists believe that AI tools won't resolve these issues that Facebook and other social media companies face. The problem is that surveillance is Facebook's business model. Surveillance in order to facilitate, or facilitate, mind you, psychological manipulation, according to Bruce Schneer, a well-known security expert and private privacy specialist. Whether it's done by people or AI is in the noise. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. That's why I hardly ever go on Facebook except maybe once or three times a week anymore. You know? I don't care. I mean, it tells me to use my real name. I use my real name. Yeah. It is my I admire her a lot. What I don't admire is the fact that her career was ruined because of a radio personality libeling her and slandering her on his radio show because he knew that what he was saying about her was such bullshit. And yet, Newark's attorney in 1998 said that she is not a musician, she is not a producer. I dare say, if you put Lauren Hill in a studio alone, she couldn't do it again. Album number two for her is not going to sound like this. 
Well, of course. I mean, it, it figures because you know what's funny? During the 2003 Vatican City concert, she was criticized for having courageously called out the pedophilia amongst priests, amongst priests in the Catholic Church, and said, "I realize some of you may be offended by what I'm saying, but what do you say to families who are betrayed by the people in whom they believed?" She said on stage. The Catholic lead blasted the star as having flipped the lid, organizer monster Reno Pichella said. It was a bad taste of very bad name. The incident was chalked up to another rant by Lauren Hill, who never wavered in her position. What I said was the truth. It's still the truth, bad matters. What I asked was the church to repent for what has happened. And the Catholic Church has never done that since. Not even for a brief moment. So people, if it makes any sense to you, if it makes any much as slight difference to you, Lauren Hill is the protagonist in this particular story. She's not the antagonist like so many people assume her to be. So, clearly she is a conservative and the Catholic Church and the radio personality that defamed her are clearly the liberals. So, there's another out of that for you, huh? Yeah. And now, let's chop Hillary Clinton's head off. Shoot her with a shot! Swing in the dunk is dick, yeah! Hillary Clinton facing arrest? Having fun in prison? Oh, we all wish for that, now don't we? Uranium One! Yes, she was responsible for it, people. Hillary Clinton's nephew Tyler was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, it's all coming down. Oh, man. Oh, but look at this shocker. She's reading a book to little kids that got fucked by William Jefferson Clinton also known as Bill Clinton. Democrats don't take the house. New leadership is needed. Guess what? You're gonna need new leadership, buddy. And they're not gonna retake the house in 2018. So yeah, I say look for new leadership. Get rid of Pelosi and Schumer. Look for younger talent. Democrats are gonna have to decide if they love the U.S. more than they hate Trump. Well, I hate to break it to you, Sarah Sanders, but the Dems have already decided. They hate Trump. Apparently, former communist Muslim president Barack Obama made Melania Trump smile. You could just imagine the reaction of all these people. There's a... <laughs> she saved a free Delta Airlines Apple, and she was fined by Delta for $500. Well, that's yet another reason why I'll never fly on a plane. Ever. Shakespeare. He's actually the pseudonym of an anonymous playwright whose identity we still, after 402 years, cannot fully identify, much less by his first and last name. So there you go. Can I tell you something? Yeah. That was a good shit. Oh, a Nashville Waffle House shooter who apparently was a Playgirl reject apparently went into a Waffle House restaurant and shot four people dead with a rifle and opened fire on the restaurant. He is a 29 year old for whatever reason and yet he isn't identified yet the hero who witnessed the shooting was identified. Go figure, right? I mean personally I don't even care. And honest to God <laughs> Should we even be talking about this right now? <laughs> Kill music now. Wait a second. I thought you were dead. I apologize to Anna the other day about having kicked Son in the crotch. She forgave me and healed my wounds, so I'm back and I'm stronger than ever.
And that includes this episode of Spot the Liberal, and I'm gonna go take a dog out to take a pee and a crab. Don't worry about it, Captain Irwin. Speak for itself in no time. Hey, Captain Irwin, how you doing? Hey, what's up, Captain Irwin? Good to see you next time.